So this is what the foundation looks like. This is just the box. And I got the shade Sandalwood 15. That was the one with the neutral undertone and like medium skin type. I kind of look a little more pale than I usually do right now during the summer. So we're just going to roll with it. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really, really, really nice. It's a glass bottle. And it also has this matte black top, which I love in a foundation. And then it also has a pump. <laughs> so yes, um, it pretty much, I love the packaging. Glass is like my favorite type of foundation bottle. It's just, oh, it's so nice to hold on to. I got the shade Sandalwood 15. Hopefully this matches me. Not too bad. Hopefully, let's pray. And then on the front of the bottle, it's a performance wear liquid foundation and it has an SPF of 20. So then on the back, it says it's one fluid ounce. So that's pretty much the normal foundation size nowadays. And this does retail for $34. So that's a little cheap for high end. So now I'm going to go on the Sephora website and read off what it claims to do and then we will jump right into this video so it says it's a skin loving 24 hour breathable full coverage natural matte liquid foundation and it comes in 30 shades 30 that's crazy that is so good and it just says um, just one pump delivers lightweight, oil-free, photo-friendly, full coverage. So, and it also says it's a high-performance formula that blurs pores and imperfections while improving your skin's condition, all with a soft focus, natural matte finish. So, very lightweight, full coverage, 24-hour wear, uh, natural matte finish, oil-free, and photo friendly let's get into this because i am pumped so pumped so let's start off by priming the skin like always so i'm gonna go in with the professional matte rescue like always and then i'm gonna use my hard candy primer on top today I always like to use my Holy Grail primers when I'm especially like testing out a foundation for the first time just because I want to give it a fair shot and I know how these primers work with every single type of foundation and they work well with it. Like it doesn't break them up at all. It doesn't like change the formula at all. So that's why I always tend to use like the same primers on my channel, especially when I'm doing a foundation first impression, just for that reason, just to pretty much just, just give it a fair shot. So now this is the Hard Candy Primer. I especially love this primer because it really, it makes your skin sticky after, like once it's all blended into your skin. and. It just makes like a little tackiness, so it makes the foundation literally stick to your face. <laughs> and it really controls my oils that I see, which that's a good thing. So this is just one pump. You can see it is so runny. That's the most runny foundation I have in my collection right now. So that does make me a little nervous because usually runny foundations like this don't have a lot of coverage. So let's pray. So I'm going to do one side of my face with a brush and then one side of the, my face with the sponge because I know a few of you have been wanting me to do like different techniques of applying my foundation. So for a brush I have the Ulta Beauty Buffing Brush. It's a little, it's not so dense. It's like a little, it's dense but it's not as like full dense. And then I also have the Morphe M439. This one is just a little more dense and a little fatter. And I have my L'Oreal sponge. So we are going to play around. So let me dot this all over my face. So let's do the brush side first. So I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty brush and see how well this blends out.
Okay, so this is the side with the brush. Mm, I'm not liking it with the brush right off the bat. I'm not a big brush person to begin with, but it's just leaving like really bad strokes on my skin and I feel like it's not full coverage at all. Like this is light to medium right now, which that's like scaring the heck out of me. So now let's go in with the trusty sponge that I love and see what it looks like with this. Okay, so it's all blended out. I'm going to zoom you guys in because I literally cannot believe this is full coverage. So this is the side with the brush. And then this is the side with the sponge. The brush definitely did give it a little more coverage, as you can see. But it's not full coverage. Like, literally look at all these freckles poking through. That's not cool. I don't know who said this foundation was full coverage because it's not. It's, it's not. This is one layer, and literally you can see every single freckle everywhere. So I'm going to go in with a second layer. I'm going to try the brush out and then the sponge again and see if we can build this up. So these are the two sides completed. This is the brush, this is the sponge. Honestly, they look very similar. This side just has like a tiny bit more coverage than the sponge side, but it's really not that bad. There's no more strokes on this side where I applied it with the brush, so I honestly think I like it with both tools. It's really, it looks identical, kind of, pretty much. Um, so I do have to say, it is full coverage after the second layer, which I do not like applying two layers of foundation on my face. I literally hate it, but it did get to full coverage, but just not the first time around, which that's kind of frustrating, but it's not the worst. And right now, it does kind of feel lightweight. The first layer felt really, really lightweight, but this one kind of feels a little like I can feel foundation on my face just because it's kind of sticky. Like, this is not setting down. Like, it's really sticky. So I definitely have to put concealer on and set my face. Um, the color's not the worst. It's kind of a little yellow compared to my skin tone. But, I don't know. With these new foundations that I've been trying out lately, I just cannot find my perfect shade. And I've, like, exchanged the color, like, eight times. And, like, I swatch it in store, and it matches perfectly. So I don't know what it is about that. But... Whatever, let's just forget it and hopefully it looks better when I add everything else on top. So for concealer today, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I might mix these two shades. This is light neutral and then this is medium just because I feel like medium is going to be darker than the foundation. <laughs> so I do love these concealers so that's why I'm using them for this Test It Out. So I'm going to go apply those and then bake my face with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. <laughs> So while I let my face bake, I'm going to go finish my brows off camera, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I just got on a roll, I'm sorry, but I just kind of figured you guys have seen me do my makeup pretty much like a million times already. So I'll just link down below what products I used for like my bronzer, blush, highlight, mascara, lip. Everything will be linked down below just to save you guys some time. So right now, the foundation, honestly, looks 
cute. It's really, it honestly surprised me because like the first layer really scared me like hardcore. I was like, this is not full coverage at all. So I'm not going to like this already. Like I already knew I wasn't going to like it. But right now my opinion has definitely changed. I do like it right now. It isn't as full coverage as like some of my other foundations where like they claim to be full coverage. I think they need to rename this medium coverage. I feel like they're kind of like messing with people by saying it's full coverage because it's really not. Especially they said like on the Sephora website one pump, just one pump will get you your whole face full coverage and that's that's not the case at all. At all. I probably had to use this is going to be a lot. It sounds like a lot, but this pump kind of squirts out a little bit at a time, so I was like, "Oh my god. I feel like I'm using so much." But in order to get my face this full coverage, I probably had to use maybe 10 pumps. I'm not going to lie. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really wasn't once I blended everything out. And honestly, one of the claims that they did come through with and was right was the lightweight. It's very lightweight for how much makeup I have on my face right now. Like I feel like it's really, I feel like I have nothing on, which is kind of like crazy. It's crazy, honestly. It's really crazy because I thought it was going to be really heavy. After that second layer, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this. Oh. But right now, I really like it. Um, I don't really see any negatives right now. It doesn't really emphasize my texture. I am going to make this video a wear test, so I'm going to test this out. I'm going to wear this for a couple hours, maybe like four to six hours, check in after that and let you guys know how I like it after that. I do have very oily skin in my T-zone, so we will see how well it controls that and see how well it looks after that amount of time. Right now it is 2.25, so it's a little later in the afternoon, but hopefully I'll check in a little later and I will let you guys know what I think. So right now, it's not bad. It's really not bad. I think my makeup looks really cute. It's really, just kind of looks normal, how it usually looks, so that's a good thing. So I will see you guys in a few hours. So I am back, it is, what time it is? exactly nine o'clock so I think I checked in around like 2 2 30 around there so it's been around seven and a half hours and this is what my face is looking like let me put my hair back so you guys can actually see my face um so I did take my lip off just because I ate and it kind of came off and it just it's just annoying me and I was just like packing for vacation and just running around Okay, so you are pretty zoomed in. This is like so close. But as you can see, I'm gonna show you everything. My smile lines are literally horrible. Do you see that line right there? Yeah, and on this side. And yeah, I know, I picked up my pimple. Don't look at that, okay? Please, <laughs> don't judge. And then around my nose, it's really not bad. It hasn't really broken up a lot as much as I thought it would and then just on my forehead I have this line where I always wrinkle my forehead and you can kind of see it indented in the foundation so yeah that's pretty much it just really the smile lines and then on my chin from eating it really did break it up pretty bad as you can see so it's kind of a tough one it has been on for seven and a half hours, so that is a pretty long time. Like, I wish it wouldn't break up that bad around my mouth, because that's not cute at all. And, I don't know, at four hours I checked in, and it just, it, my smile lines just, like, started forming right away, so there was nothing really I could do. I haven't blotted at all, so I get very oily, and my skin is not oily really at all. Like, at all. I don't really see any oil poking through, which is, that's very impressive. I will give you that one. Going back to the beginning, it wasn't full coverage the first layer. I had to do two layers, and then it just felt heavy in the beginning, but then it started to feel more lightweight as it, like, adhered to my skin, I guess. I'm not mad at it, but I don't, like, overly love it. So it's kind of just like an eh foundation. It's really nice. I love the packaging, but the product inside, I was just expecting more out of it. 
honestly like I was expecting a fall ass coverage foundation pretty much like the Urban Decay um what is that one called all nighter Urban Decay all nighter foundation um the Marc Jacobs Remarkable uh Wet n Wild is even more full coverage than this foundation so I was just expecting it to be like those full coverage but it's really not because I can still see some of my freckles poking through like right here and on my forehead which I don't hate like I'm really not mad at the foundation for that I'm just mad at the fact that I was expecting more and it just it's like a eh foundation it's really nothing special it's nothing new it's nothing different it's really like nothing special that's pretty much all I can say about it I hope you guys enjoyed this little first impressions wear test on a foundation doing brush and sponge. I try to um, listen to you guys and just improve as I go and I really do try to read every single person's comments so I kind of take in con into consideration what everyone has to say. Also do not forget to subscribe before you leave. I am having a giveaway when I hit 2,000 subscribers so let everyone you know know and yeah so let's reach 2,000. I can give you guys some free little gifts and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!